I am working on a book uh, about Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand at the movies. I'm not an objectivist, but I'm also not one of these people who um, sees Ayn Rand in really negative terms. She tends to arouse uh, feelings of either adoration or hatred. There's almost no middle ground when you come to Ayn Rand, unless you're me. I see her as somebody who was very richly talented and had a lot of insights. Okay, and one of her major insights was that Nazism or fascism and communism are not poles apart. People think of <coughs> the Nazis as the extreme right wing and the communists as the extreme left wing. She correctly saw them as two sides of the same coin. Okay, in one case, you're sacrificing individual rights and freedoms to the proletariat, the so-called working class. And in the other case, you're, so, you're sacrificing individual rights and freedom to the Volk or the race, the Aryan, understood, as I've said before, as the Aryan race, not the white race. <clears throat> okay. And they are, in fact, two versions of the same thing. They are super collectivist societies in which individuals as individuals just don't count. Okay, and that I think is one of the reasons why I don't see Ayn Rand's, um, Ayn Rand is a mean girl. She feared that if you put, um, if you're altruistic, if you put other people above yourself, it leads straight to the Galaga Archipelago or Auschwitz. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed hearing that. And will subscribe to my channel, okay? If you're seeing this on my on my YouTube, and will subscribe to my Instagram if you're seeing this on my Instagram.